All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we got Why Did Russia Conquer Siberia? This is from History Matters, so let's jump straight to this Russia, one, man. Russia, as you'll be aware, is huge. Oh, growing it's massive. from a medium-sized state in the mid-16th century to this in the mid-1700s. Holy shit. Most of Talk these about lands growth. were what's called Siberia, which were difficult to govern due to their sheer size and placed Russia in contact with more potential rivals. Okay. As such, this raises the question, why did Russia conquer Siberia? They, just, they wanted the, the land, what do you mean? Well, it won't surprise you to know that the primary reason they don't mind a bit of a as of the reign of rivalry. Ivan the Terrible, Moscow's lifeblood was trade, often in furs. Yeah. These were sourced from the neighbouring lands and states, which often came into conflict with Moscow. In 1552, Ivan conquered the Khanate of Kazan and soon afterwards the Astrakhan Khanate. These conquests were both primarily to give Moscow control of the Volga River and thus the region's trade routes. Makes so, sense. So, the economic lifeblood of Moscow secured I see along too. with some new fancy farmland and peasants there to tax, why did Ivan and his successors push for more? Well, Ivan sent a man called Yermak Timoveyevich to lead an army of Cossacks to pacify the neighbouring states. Of course, go and murder them. And he did them. this for two reasons. The first was to prevent raiding into Moscow's territories, and the second was to extract tribute in the form of furs which would then be sold on to Europe. Makes After sense. the Russians conquered Siberia, from which Siberia gets its name, there was little in the way of organised resistance left. Which as a result meant that it only took 60 years for Moscow to conquer all of this. 60 years for there, all of that? Frankly, nobody could stop them. After Holy the shit. Of Russia, expansion only had up. Yeah, but surely it would have been quicker, right? Because like, surely there was no one really stopping them. Right. Siberia was cheap to govern because it basically wasn't governed. Russia planted trading posts and small fortresses along the frontier, which existed to protect roads and river crossings from raiders. And claim it As for most of the people who lived in Siberia, many had little idea that they now lived in a place called Russia. In fact, in much of Siberia's north, Russian influence was basically non-existent, and some right. parts of it wouldn't be fully mapped until the Soviet Union carried out its censuses. It's just that the Russians claimed it, and the people who made the maps weren't exactly going to argue with them. Eventually, the Russians would run into a major power which wanted to expand into the region the Qing dynasty. When they first came into contact, the Qing were quick to shoot at the Russians until they left. Local leaders continued fighting. Best way to deal with it, right? You see the, you see the Russians coming closer, you just shoot them and the just leadership hope Moscow they leave. Formally sued for peace. It was agreed that in return for some limited trade access, Russia would renounce any claim to these lands and acknowledge Qing ownership. After both sides had agreed, it wasn't long before the Russians took everything to the north. Again, Damn. this was because nothing was stopping them, yeah. and it's not like it cost the government Free land. to do so. Also, Russia was now about 20 times as large as it had been a Holy century prior, shit. and its sheer size and by extension prestige was one of the reasons that European leaders acknowledged Russian Tsars becoming Russian emperors. When China would later find itself Massive. in the European imperial policy, Russia was quick to capitalise, and it took the lands it had previously been denied, meaning that the country would stretch all the way from the Baltic Sea in the west to the Sea of Japan in the east. Actually crazily big. So fucking big. But yeah, really good video from History of Myers. Enjoyed that one. Hope that you guys did enjoy it too. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.